Welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to create holding down bolts or HD bolts on these concrete column bases you're seeing on the screen here and we'll get started right away. Let me just bring them close so that we can have a, a, a closer look on this. Now we'll use the column first. We'll place our column just to guide us in creating the, the HD bolts in position on, the, on top of these uh, concrete column bases. Now I'll come to applications and component here. And we have the stiffened base plate. This is a macro that will help us in creating the holding down bolts. Now, in this case, I'll um, close that for th for the time being, and I'll will go straight and place our column first. I'll come to steel uh, steel and uh, pick on the column, and I'll snap right on, the, on on top of this concrete column base, right there, and we'll have our column base in that position. Now, what we are going to do. We'll, we are going to place our our base plate for the f for this uh, column. I'll come to a stiffened base plate. I'll click on that. Then I want to place a base plate on this column. I'll click on this column. Then snap right at the bottom end here to place our column in the place. Our base plate in the bottom position right there. There we are, and that that is. The plate the base plate we wanted to create now if i double click on this base plate you'll be able to see the settings that have been used to create the base plate and the and the bolts now once that has been done once i've double clicked on that let me just zoom out so that we can have a closer look on this and uh i'll come to parts here and you'll be able to see that this plate actually is 20 millimeter thick uh, that's that's okay and uh, the bolting the, the bolts center to center or the anchor uh, anch anchor rods center to center is we have four anchor rods four of them at, uh, at uh, 130 center to center and uh, that's all we can come to anchor rods here and uh, we have base plates with what do we do we ha we do we want base plate to be accompanied with what with the bolts anchor rod or custom components we want this to be accompanied with anchor rods which is in this case is our holding down bolts the hd bolts and uh, m how much do we want our uh, hd down bolt hd bolts protrude off the top of our concrete column base will uh, feed here 100 millimeter protrusion of the, the top of the concrete column base and uh, we need some bolts on top of it so now we'll come here and uh, and pick the yes option or option because you have three options there we do we if, if you if you want you can retain the the default setting and also come here and pick on the yes we want a bolts and also the washer on that end or we can uh, just to meet this we don't need anything there we don't need anything there we just need the bolt on top of that and that's all then come here and click modify once i've clicked modify and give it some time and i click apply and accept that by clicking on okay once that has been done we'll come here we'll come here and uh mouse over this uh, base plate right click and come to explode we want to detach this base plate to there. Uh, we want to detach it from the, the column because we don't need this column at all. Our main aim is just to create the HD bolt in place so that when the casting is being done, the casting should be done together with the uh, HD bolt in position accurately with accurate measurements so that when uh, the column now actually come, it will be meshing properly with the base plate for the steel column base. Now, for the time being, we'll just delete this uh, steel column here we'll get rid of it of this and also get rid of this we'll also get rid of this uh, stiffeners and what will remain is just the hd bolts and the base plate that will be holding uh the hd bolt in position while uh, the concreting is being done so that they don't shift positions at all now this has been done and remember we've we've exploded this which means we, we've done with the assembly so uh, every part is on its own so we want to bring this together so that we have one assembly 
So prior to that, let's add some colors so that we, we, we see different colors on the of these uh, assembly or of these parts. We want to give a different color to the base or, or to the, the or to this plate. We'll double click on this plate and come to and come right here and give it a color code of four. A color code of four. That's okay. And uh, we'll press control and turn this round so that we select this one go. I'll select all this. Then press control and double click on one. Then from here, I want to give a color code of eight. Eight right there and click OK or modify. That's all. Double click on that. It hasn't changed and give it a color code of eight right there so that we take care of the uniformity uniformity for all the holding down bolts i'll press control and turn this round and turn this round and press control and turn this round where we we are here then uh, bring this close now the next step we want to uh, click on the bolt um, i mean the nuts here i'll press control first of all and pick on that press control and pick on the nuts here we need these nuts to have a different color also and uh, we'll give it a color code of 10 and uh, click modify and accept everything right there now I'll come back here and turn this round and I want to select on everything here I want this to be in a position that I'll be able to select all this I'll be able to select all that then press control and turn this round now once I've done that I'll right click and come to and come to this which means the options that, that, that I wanted I will not have so I'll, it will force me to go individually to pick on this ball on these nuts first I'll pick on that pick on that pick on that pick on this pick on this and pick on that then I'll right click and come to add to assembly and I'll add it to this plate I want this plate to be part of that assembly now I'll come now to individual to this individual uh, HD bolts. I'll select everything and leave one. Then select this, right click and come to add to assembly. Then I'll add it to that. Perfect. I'll click on empty screen, then press control and hold my mute button on the mouse and turn this round like that so that you can have a I can rotate this comfortably. Now, if I press Alt here and pick on this, you'll have, you'll see everything selected as a unit or as assembly. Now, I want to just bring it up by 50 or 70 millimeter to provide uh, a, a space for the grouting when uh, the column will be in place now. Now, I'll right click and come to move special and I'll click on linear. Then uh, come here and feed 70 here and click move up there we are and click ok right click now i'll uh, maintain this selection and i want to copy this on this way on this um, i mean along the y-axis here now i'll right click and come to copy here then i'll pick this from this position here and take it right here and move all the way to the, to the next one right there right click and uh, interrupt just to exit from that selection uh, selection or co uh, or that command then i'll continue selecting the two by pressing alt and control together and uh, select on that then holding the control and alt together i'll select on this once that has been done right click and come to copy here and i want to copy all all the three from this point to this point because all these bases are the same and bring another one here right there perfect i'll right click and click interrupt and click on empty screen to deselect everything here i'll right click and redraw everything to refresh i'll give it time give it some time to refresh and this is where we were heading to the, to place uh, the, the hd bolts on top of the concrete column base prior to installation of the columns Remember these uh, plates, it's not a math that we use plates, uh, steel plates, 
plate, steel plates you can also use a board to hold these HD, uh, HD bolts in position during casting so that they don't shift in position and uh, remember center to center center to center of this should match with the base plate for the steel column steel column base plate this this uh, position should match with the steel uh, base a steel column base plate now let me just turn this and that's how you can create the HD bolts and remember this you can you can generate a drawing from this and uh, submit uh, to relevant people that will be using this on site uh, in uh, when casting and uh, also the holding down bolts when doing the casting must be done together with the casting and that's all for today and uh, don't forget to subscribe if, if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and that's all for today and bye bye and let's meet then let's just turn this round so that you can have a closer look on this Let me just bring it close and this is how it looks this is how it looks this is a hd bolt in position once the concreting is done to look like this now you can just get rid of this plate and uh, if you get rid of these plates so uh, your column just comes straight and will, will be bolted and after installing your column you can do the grouting and just undo that just to bring it back and that's all bye bye and don't forget to subscribe i'm already